Hi everyone! In this video, I will demonstrate one of the ways to make a two-part carrot stencil background for your cookies using Design Space for Cricut. When I get a carrot from the store, so I typed in carrot to narrow my field down and then I also filtered by free. Insert image. And then depending on your image and your projects, you may want to do a test cut before you go any further whatsoever. You would size your carrot. Let's say I were gonna make it an inch tall. That's gonna make it a third of an inch wide and if you had any concerns about details cutting out, then let me hide this guy. Then I would suggest sending that to the Make It Mat. Have a designated piece of plastic that is only used for test cuts so if I had previous cuts on here I might need to move this over here if I had like a star or a heart or anything over here then you'll want to move that to a free space and make sure that cuts well so we're going to cancel that and as you can see my carrot is two separate pieces in the layers panel that's because I sliced this into two pieces so we're going to get a square from our panel over here on the left, tools panel. Let's unlock this corner so that I can make this long and skinny like my carrot. I'm going to make my carrot a little taller. And then you're just going to position this so that you're going to have, if I cut it right there, you can see that it's going to not cut off the entire top. And I want to have a nice clean cut, so I'm going to bring this up. And then now I can see there's a little more on the left than the right. So I'm going to turn this and bring it up here to where I have just a nice cut. I have my shift key down. I have my shift key down to grab the top. You could do it that way. You can oh, undo button. I moved him. Let me zoom back out. You can grab both items with your mouse or you can come over here in the layers panel with your shift key down. Then we're going to come to the bottom right and slice. And now before I go any further, I'm going to grab this black piece on top and I want to make that bigger and look at that and make sure I like the cut. So if I were actually making this for a stencil, let me make that 10 inches big so we can see it. If I were actually going to make this, I would probably undo the button three times to get this little notch off of there. Let's see if I can zoom in there. So I would probably go back and reposition and recut. You would just use the undo button until your slice was gone. For the purposes of the video, I'm going to keep going. Just so we're not here all day doing that. Now I'm going to turn the bottom of my carrot orange and turn the top green. That will be helpful later when we're grabbing items in the layers panel. This one I'm gonna hide for now. <coughs> okay, so now I wanna make sure I get this back to my size that it's gonna be. You can either make those to where they're touching or you can leave them apart, personal preference if you want. Like if you're airbrushing this, if you want your airbrush colors touching. So I'm going to make this one inch tall because we're going to assume that I did my test cut and I know that 50 of these are going to cut out well and I'm not going to waste my time and my materials. Now we're going to group those together so that they don't now fall apart. I can't grab just the orange part. And I'm going to duplicate this. I'm going to bring in a square that I'm going to use as a reference to see if this will fit within the borders of my stencil. Ultimately, my stencil will be five and a half inches, but to make sure I have my carrots all framed, I'm going to make this 5.25. You'll see later how that comes together. And for the video, I'm going to turn it white just so you can see what we're doing. A range, I'm going to move that to the back. Okay, so now I'm going to position those carrots within these borders. And you can just move them all around and stagger them however you want. If you want them turned, you can do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make them into rows. 
So I'm going to do an upper row and a lower row. And a lot of this part now, we're in the design process. A lot of this is going to be up to you, what your preference is, how you like things spaced, if you want them even, if you don't want them even. So I'm going to duplicate this guy again. I know I can fit one more in there. So say that we like the look of that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a box. Actually, you know what I'm going to do is go every other one here and ungroup. So this grouping is this one on the end. I'm going to ungroup that one and I'll show you why. Let's see. Actually, you know, I'm not going to ungroup that just yet. It's a lot of ungrouping later, but I don't want to get any of these parts to come apart. So we're going to grab every other one. Yeah, every other one in the layers panel. And then we're going to align the tops. This is going to do all of that work for us. I think that's all of them align and we're going to have it align the tops for us oops grabbed one too many so this guy i'm going to move down we're going to draw that line there and say align top that one does not look like it's going align Top. Okay, so now you can see that all of these tips are even across this blue line. That's what we're looking for. And we're going to do the same with these lower ones. Make sure your box doesn't grab any of your upper carrots. You just want to grab the lower carrots. And let's see what it looks like if we align the bottoms. So if you like that spacing, you could align the bottoms. You could have aligned the top. You can move this whole grouping by, grab, by grabbing them. You can move them around, up and down, so whatever height you like the look of that. Now we're going to space them all. We're going to distribute them horizontally so there's an equal amount of space between them all. Also with the align, we're going to distribute them horizontally. And you saw them just shift over a little bit. And you can see that those fit within the border here. So I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to put this right next to it. Gonna grab all of those now and group that so that I can grab the whole group and put it over here. And duplicate that grouping. And now I'm just kind of eyeballing this. Duplicate one more time and I think that's gonna do it for us. So now I'm gonna grab all three groupings and align the left side. So they're all in the same place. And oh, we're going to move this box out of our way. Put a square around that, align. We're going to now distribute vertically and see what that looks like. So if you like the spacing at this point, now we're going to go back through here and we're going to grab all of the green pieces and just ignore the groupings ignore the orange grab everything that is green and this is why at the beginning we change those colors because this makes it so much easier this will be part one of our stencil i got that one that's one thing I wish it didn't make you do. I wish you could really unclick it. If somebody knows a way to unclick that, let me know because I have not found it yet. I wonder, maybe the undo button. I'll have to play with that later. I don't know if the undo button would let me uncheck one if you accidentally grabbed the wrong one. Maybe. This would be the same if you had just scattered them all around. You still would just grab all your green pieces when you're done. 
Should be getting close. And I'm making sure I don't grab my hidden one. So now we're going to weld all of our green pieces together. And then now all these orange ones should be pretty fast and easy to go through and grab. Just go through and grab every piece that's carrot. And we're gonna weld the carrots together. You cannot undo a weld after you've saved the project um, unless Cricut has changed something that I'm not aware of. You cannot undo a weld after the project has been saved. So if you change your mind later and you wanna do something different with them, that's another reason that that test cut is so important. So we're gonna weld all those together. Okay, so now, I'm gonna use the undo button here in a second. You see, I can get all these orange ones are together. Undo. Now I wanna grab all of my orange groups. Holding the shift key down to grab the orange groupings. And I'm going to weld those. And then there we go. We've got out. So now you have an orange piece and a green piece. Undo because I want to make sure those stay right where they were. Hey, where'd my little orange guy go? Hmm. I don't know where that guy went. Let's see. Go back and do my. Get this group, make sure I get all of those carrots. I don't know where that one disappeared to. That should be everybody weld. Okay. So, now we're gonna make our box. We know that that fits within those borders. So now I'm gonna go ahead and make my stencil square, my five and a half, and I'm gonna duplicate it. I'm gonna draw around this, and I'm gonna group that just for a minute so that they don't move around. Now they're not gonna move and separate the orange from the green. So I'm gonna put those together and I'm going to center and attach. Oops, sorry, not attach. My bad. Group. Actually, we'll just do it this way. All of this, duplicate this. And now on one of these groupings, I'm going to, in the layers panel, get the orange and delete it. This other one, again, in the, in the panel so that I don't accidentally move anything. This is really important not to move anything now. Now I'm gonna grab the green and delete the green. Then I'm gonna, you can draw your box if you're careful or use your panel. I'm going to attach that. And I'm going to attach this. Now you're ready for the make it. There's your two part carrot stencil. If you have any questions, place them in the comments. Thanks and have a great day.